we leave this aside for a minute. We will bring in another dimension to this. We talked about um, production, but there is, you know, uh, there is a distinction between production and provision. Though we understand that public goods are best provided by the government, there was no mention of who should produce the goods and services. In fact, it is quite possible for these to be produced by the private sector. Private production, public provision. In any case, we know that governments are not capable of producing all the goods and services anyway. They have to rely on the private sector for obtaining certain products and services. So, this acknowledgement for our uh, session now uh, facilitates introduction of both the private players and the government into the public goods equation. So, we can have the private sector producing and the um, the government providing the services. This is really a, a definition of a traditional procurement, where um, private players are involved in production, the government pays the private sector for the production, but the government is responsible for the service provision process. This is traditional procurement. Can you think of certain uh, ideas uh, behind this traditional procurement? Why is it best for what are the what are the assumptions in this uh, uh, traditional procurement process where the government um, pays the private sector for production, but it provides the service on its own. What are the assumptions? Traditional procurement suggests that government is in the best position to provide the services, because the goods or services are in the public goods domain. And the government's desire or compulsion to provide the service is matched by its efficiency. It is matched by its effectiveness. And one more assumption here is that there are no other the other competing or uh, more deserving demands on government's resources, especially the funds. So, these are the assumptions behind the traditional procurement. So, we have understood what are public goods, we understand their characteristics, we understand the distinction between uh, provision and production. We have brought in the idea of traditional procurement.